In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to get information about the current operating system. So back in node documentation in the list of modules, if you scroll down, you can see this OS module. Let's have a quick look here. So these are the methods that are available in this module. For example, we have free mem, which returns the amount of free memory on this machine. We also have total mem, which is the total memory. We can get information about the current user. We can get the uptime of this machine and so on. So let's use a couple of these methods here. So if you scroll down, you can see this is how we load this OS module. Just like loading other modules, we call the require function and store the result in a constant called OS or anything. So back in VS Code, I'm going to delete all the code here and define a new constant OS and set it to require OS. Now we can call total mem method or free mem or other methods. So let me declare a variable and store the result here. And similarly for the free memory, free memory. And finally, let's log these values on the console. So console.log single quote, we add total memory and append this total memory here. Now we can simplify this expression by using a template string, which is available in more recent versions of JavaScript that we refer to as ES6 or ES2015, which is short for ECMA script 6 or 2015. That's the specification that defines what features are available in JavaScript. So every year, ECMA defines new features that should be added to JavaScript. And as you know, different browsers implement different set of these features. But the V8 engine that we have inside of Node, that's pretty up to date, and it implements a lot of new features of JavaScript that is defined in ECMAScript. So in ECMAScript 6 or ECMAScript 2015, we have a feature called template string, which helps us build a string without concatenations. Let me show you how that works. So console.log. Now, instead of a single quote, we use the backtick character. Backtick is the character before number one on your keyboard. So here we add some static text, like total memory. Now we want to add something here dynamically. So we use dollar sign and curly braces to add a placeholder for an argument. In this case, our argument is this total memory variable. So we can see with a template string, we don't have concatenation. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this line and change total to free. And here let's add free memory. Okay. Now we don't need this first console log. We're done with this. Let's go back to the terminal and run this application. So node app.js, and you can see the total and free memory on my machine. Now what is interesting here is that before node, we could not get this kind of information using JavaScript. JavaScript used to run only inside of a browser, and we could only work with the window or document objects. We couldn't get information about the operating system. But when using Node, our JavaScript code is executed outside of a browser, or as some people say, on the server. With this, we can get information about the operating system. We can work with files. We can work with the network. For example, we can build a web server that listens for HTTP requests on a given port. And I'm going to show you all this later in this section. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.